Okay, we're continuing with some examples of converting between navigational headings and mathematical angles. And in this set of examples, we're going to be given a mathematical angle and told to find the corresponding navigational heading. And remember that an, a navigational heading starts at north and specifies the angle as a, a direction clockwise from north, whereas the mathematician starts from the x-axis and specifies an angle as an amount of rotation counterclockwise from the x-axis. So here we have a mathematical angle of 57 degrees. So that direction, in other words, this is a 57 degree angle right there, 57 degrees. That's the mathematical angle, the rotation from the positive x-axis. That corresponds to what navigational heading? Well, that's this angle here the navigational heading rotating clockwise from north. And you can see that this is a right angle, so these two angles together have to add up to 90. So this one is just going to be 90 minus that 57. So that one's easy. 90 minus 57, that comes out to 33 degrees. That's our answer. Mathematical angle of 57 degrees corresponds to a heading of 33 degrees. Now we'll, that, that's one example. We'll do three more so that we have one example in each quadrant. Okay, example six here. Example six is going to be a mathematical angle of 121 degrees. And that's about right there. Okay, so 121 degrees from the positive x-axis. That corresponds to what navigational heading? Well, if north is this way, and we specify our navigational headings as an amount of rotation clockwise from north, that's the angle that we're looking for right there. So how do we find that? Well, it's going to help to find this little angle here that we call the reference angle. So watch this. That's 121 degrees, that angle. And I know that if I rotated starting here and rotating around there, it's 121 degrees, well, if I rotated all the way around to there, that would be 180, a half circle. So this little reference angle right here is going to be 180 minus 121. 180 minus 121 is 59 degrees. So that's this reference angle right there, 59 degrees. So what's the, what's the navigational heading? Well, navigational heading starts at north. We want to know how much that is. So this is easy. Watch this. 90, 180, 270, and then I need this much more. And that we know is 59. So this is just going to be 270 plus 59. That would be my answer. And that comes out to 329 degrees. And again, a diagram makes that a lot easier to see. So even if you're not given a diagram, it's worth, worth taking a uh, two seconds just to draw the little xy axes or the north, south, east, west compass rows and do that. A, a good visual picture can really help you think through these things more clearly. Okay, example seven, a mathematical angle of 218 degrees corresponds to what navigational heading? Well, this is going to be about there, 218 degrees, and that means this much rotation. Starting from the x-axis over here, and rotating counterclockwise, that's your standard mathematical angle. And we want to know the heading. And the heading starts at north and goes around this way. So that's where, what we're looking for. How much rotation is that? That red arrow that I just drew, drew represents a rotation of how many degrees from north. Okay, again, it's often helpful to find this. So watch this. 180 plus that is going to give me my 218. I'll say that again. That's a half circle, 180, and that much more gives me this 218. That number was given. So this little reference angle right there is going to be 218 minus 180. And that's easy to do. 218 minus 180 comes out to 38 degrees. 38 degrees. Now let's think about the navigational angle, or the navigational heading. Okay, that would be 90. 180, 270. But instead of going all the way around to 270, we're going to stop 38 degrees short of 270. So my answer will be 270 minus 38. So 270 minus 38 is 232. 
So this direction, or right there, is a, a heading of 232 degrees. And example 8, a mathematical angle of 304 degrees corresponds to what navigational heading? Okay, 304 degrees, that's down here. 304 degrees, that's a mathematical angle of 304. Starting from the x-axis and rotating counterclockwise. And again, it's going to be helpful to find this, the reference angle. And here's my thinking. Full circle would be 360, but we're not going to go full circle, we're going to stop short. So we're skipping that much of the full circle. So that much less than 360 gives us 304. So this reference angle right here is going to be 360 minus 304 and that comes out to 56. So that's a 56 degree angle right there. And then this is easy. The navigational heading starts at north here. That's what we're looking for. So that's 90 plus 56 and that's our answer. 90 plus 56 is 146 degrees. So a mathematical angle of 304 corresponds to a heading, a navigational heading, of 146.